Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a video and that's because I've been answering so many questions about expanding storage on your Fire TV stick. I did a three part series. I had one video on what equipment you need, another video on showing you how to hook it up to your TV and a third video on how to do the software part of it, meaning get on your Fire Stick and setting up that external drive to expand storage on your Fire TV stick. Well, the problem is some people watch number two, didn't see number three or watch number one and didn't know there was a two and a three. So they were confused. I thought it was innovative I thought it was a great idea, but it's apparently not. So I'm going to take all three videos, combine it together. We're going to do a rapid fire version of a complete guide on how to expand storage. That way you don't miss anything. And guys, if you want a little bit more elaborate walkthrough step by step on any one of those three, I will keep those three videos on my channel. So make sure you are subscribed and you have notifications turned on. So let's not waste any time. We'll get right to the videos. Now I'm going to be wearing a different shirt because it's within different times, but I'm literally going to compile all three really fast into one video. Hopefully this will help you guys out beginning to end expanding storage on your Fire TV stick. Let's go. Hey everyone, if you're a Fire TV Stick user, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced, there's a new product, it's right here, that will change everything for you. I'm gonna talk about that in this video. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your power cord on this, how to expand storage, all in today's video, really fast, really easy, with just one product, this right here. We'll talk about it right now. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about this Mission USB power cable. So this is a powered cable that eliminates the need for your Fire TV stick power cable and power adapter. Guys, those things go bad. It causes a boot loop on your Fire TV stick. A lot of people have experienced it, whether it just happens because the cord goes bad or you're using maybe a larger hard drive to expand storage it will cause sometimes a boot loop if, you, loop if you don't have enough power. So you can take that power cord, throw it in the trash because this eliminates it and you can use your USB power on your TV. I would never recommend using your USB power on your TV because it doesn't have enough power normally without this cable. So I got really excited when they got back in stock. This has been out for a little bit, but Amazon was out of stock right away because a lot of people were jumping on this bandwagon. Get rid of that cord, throw it in the trash, don't need it. You can just use your USB on your TV. Now, why is that such a big deal? Well, you, the Fire TV stick never restarts. So you actually have to go in, put it to sleep, restart your Fire Stick all the time. But if your power it comes from your TV. When you turn your TV off, your Fire Stick turns off. So it's not using resource. It's not constantly using your data. It literally restarts your Fire Stick. So you're going to get optimal performance. Plus, it has the added power boost. Now, why is that important? Well, that's what we're going to talk about right now. So this is what it looks like right now. Here. So this, so it comes in a little box like this, and this is what it looks like right here. So how do you use it? Well, you're going to get rid of the power cord that is in here, and you're just going to plug this directly in, just like that. Now this right here, this obviously is going to go into your HDMI port. This right here will go into the USB port on your TV, and just about every TV out there has USB ports, at least one. I think mine has four of them on there, and four of these. So you could have four different streaming devices with these. But what you're gonna do is just plug that into your USB and now you're powered up. Now, check this out. This is where it gets really, really cool. So you've got essentially hands-free, completely portable, powered Fire TV stick with a power boost on it. So your performance will be better, it'll be able to restart, but now you could get an OTG adapter. So let me show this to you really quick. Now this works best with a Fire, K, a Fire Stick uh, 4K Max only because adding storage is a lot easier. You can still do it on the older models, but guys, these are on sale right now for 34 bucks on Amazon. They're half price. This is the time to buy them. I bought a bunch for giveaways. I'm gonna give one away um, from this video just by commenting something about the video down in the uh, comments section. I'm gonna be giving away one as well. So this is called an OTG adapter and I'll put links to this as well as this in the description section so you can get them easier and find them easier. But this is called an OTG adapter. Now you can get it where it's dangly like this or you can get one that looks like a little L. Um, I it doesn't matter which one you use. This one sometimes is better for using larger drives because the plug doesn't quite fit in that little, you'll, you'll see when, when I, you look at the links, but this solves the problem no matter what. So this is always good, uh, just a little bit more cords. But um, let me show you how this works. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this out right here, okay? And you're going to plug the OTG adapter into that same power port where you would normally have your power. 
Now on this side, you've got basically another female end and you're going to plug this in. All right, guys, follow me here. Uh, so we're gonna plug that in. If I can figure out the plug, there we go. So now you're plugged in and you will again put this in your USB. So you've got this in your HDMI. You have this in your USB. No, nothing going to a power outlet at all at this point, okay? Now, now this seems like a lot, but it's really not. You can take a drive. Normally you could only expand your Fire TV stick to about 64 gigabytes unless you have a low power drive. Guys, now you can go two terabytes because you have boosted power up to two terabytes on your Fire TV stick as extra storage. And like I said, if you have a 4K Max, one of the Maxes, not the regular 4K that came out five years ago, but the newer one that came out last year, then you're gonna be able to expand storage without third-party apps. You literally could just plug it in and it will ask you to format it and you format it. And the only reason that you wouldn't have that pop up to be able to format your drive properly is if you had a power issue, problem solved with this right here. So what would you do with your drive? Well, guess what? You have a USB port because of that OTG adapter. That's the whole purpose of it is to give you a USB port. So now guys, you've got two terabyte Fire TV stick. If you have a Max, it's accessible. You can transfer apps. You can download content from whatever app that you want to download. TV Mate's very common because you can DVR your IPTVs with that. And then here you go. You've got everything. No power cord, has a power adapter, uses the power in your TV. It's restarting when you restart your TV and you've got all kinds of extra storage. So I'm gonna take a TV. I'm gonna show you how I have it all plugged in. I'm gonna show you how it works, guys, in today's video. But I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna add one extra device to make it an insane fire TV stick like nothing you've ever seen. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's go to the TV right now. All right, I got you up here in one of our guest rooms now. We have this full insane setup set up on this TV right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the storage on this Fire TV stick, but then I'm also going to flip the TV around and show you how we have it set up. You're gonna to wanna to know this. I had a lot of people that have commented that they got the products and they just don't know how to set it up. So that's what I'm gonna share with you today. So without wasting any time, let me quickly show you that this Fire TV stick does have two terabytes. I know that sounds crazy, but check this out. You go down to My Fire TV, you go to USB drive, two terabytes. There's 1.97 terabytes available. It's an easy setup, especially if you have the 4K Max Fire Stick. Now you can do this with the older Fire TV sticks as well. I have other videos on the process that I went through to make that happen. It does take third-party apps and a little bit more work Right now, the 4K Max is on sale. I'll put links in the description to the sale price. I think it's like $34 in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but in the US, it's 34 bucks for that, guys. So I'm gonna share with you in this video right now how I was able to accomplish two terabytes, what equipment I used. I'm gonna flip the TV around, show you how I have it set up, all of that in today's video. Let's go. All right, everyone, so I've got you here on the back side of the TV just to make it a little bit easier for your setup. I know a lot of people got those powered cords to be able to get rid of your power cord and add external hard drives of larger size to your Fire TV stick. So I'm gonna show you how I have my, all of mine set up here at my home. So I'm in one of my guest rooms again, and this is the backside of one of my TVs. I've got a 4K Max. It does This does work, this whole process works with older Fire Sticks, but these are on sale for $34 and it makes it a whole lot easier. You don't need extra programs. You don't need to do any kind of formatting. It does it all for you, okay? So the 4K Max is highly recommended. Again, I think they're 30 bucks in the US right now. They're on sale. So what do you need to make this happen? Well, you're gonna need an OTG adapter. First and foremost, no matter what, you're gonna need one. There's two different kinds you can get. You can either get a little L1 like this, just a little guy, or you can get a cord like this. Now, if you use thumb drives, you gotta use this one because a lot of them are too thick to use this because of spacing. But if you use a two terabyte hard drive, like the one that I'm using here, you could actually use this little guy, which is what I'm gonna do in today's video, just makes less cords. There's already a ton of cords, you don't need any more. So how I have mine set up is you're gonna, again, remove the power cord and you're gonna plug this right in. So it plugs right into your Fire TV stick. And this is it, guys, this isn't much so far. Well, there's gonna be some more things you're gonna add. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the power adapter. This is the mission powered USB uh, cord. And what this does is it eliminates the need for your power cord and also gives you a little bit of a boost so that you can use your, your USB on your TV and a larger hard drive. So let's go ahead 
and plug this in. Now this is going to be plugged directly into the power section on your OTG adapter. So you had power that's going straight through and there's your USB port that you have now added. Now this is a USB that's going to go into the USB on the TV. So the first thing you're gonna do is just do this. Really simple, your adapter, your power, your power cord, your fire stick. Let's plug them into the TV really quick. That's the first step. You are not going to put your drive in or anything in yet. This is very important for the setup process, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, now it's plugged in, and what you essentially have is this right here. So you've got a power adapter cord right here, then you have the OTG adapter, and you've got your Fire TV stick. Now you could get little Velcro things, Velcro it to the back of your TV if you want. A lot of people do that, and it's a great idea, because then nothing's dangling. But it doesn't dangle too bad. It's just a little clumpy, but you know what? There's no power cords coming out or anything, which is cool, so it's completely hidden behind your TV. Now what you're going to do to make this work with any external drive is you're gonna turn your TV on. You're gonna wait for Fire TV Stick to completely load up. Now, once it has completely loaded up, and I mean like everything is loaded, you gotta wait a few seconds. Then what you're going to do is just plug in your two terabyte hard drive or any hard drive that you want. Um, this is the one I use right here. It's a slim drive. I'll put links to this one in the description section of this video because you know it works. You saw it work here. So we're going to go ahead and plug it directly in to that one USB port on the back of your TV. So now essentially what we have is we've got this setup okay again you could do velcro if you want and it would completely be hidden you got your power cord your otg adapter connected to the hard drive and your fire tv stick connected to your tv now you have a two terabyte hard drive just like that well this is the video that i kind of shared with you recently uh, just a couple days ago on this channel on the ultimate fire tv stick setup i didn't show you how to do it but i told you what you needed and a lot of people got it and purchased the items that they needed and they're setting it up but a lot of people have asked me, how do you add an Ethernet adapter so that you could hardwire your Fire TV stick? Well, now it's not going to be completely wireless because you're going to have your router there and you're going to plug it in. You have a cord going to it. But it does provide a much more stable signal to your Fire Stick. So your streaming experience will be that much better. So the one item that you're going to need is a USB hub. Now this is the one I use here. There's a bunch of them out there on Amazon. I'll put links to this one and other ones that I've used on Amazon in case this one's sold out. But basically what this is going to do, it's going to give you three USBs instead of just the one and it's gonna give you an ethernet port. So again, that is a cord that comes from your router right into here and then right into your fire stick. And so it just looks like this. It looks like one of those old phone cords if you're not familiar and you're just gonna plug it right in just like that. Now this is an option, it's not required, but if you do want a stable signal, you can do that with this setup. So it is possible to do this extra added setup. And again, I will put links to hubs that work. There's a few of them that work. Um, some of them you could actually do, um, if you don't wanna do this setup with the powered cord, you wanna use your wall outlet, there's one that already has a splitter on it. So that's possible. But for, for this setup here, you will need just a regular USB hub and, and cat seven cord like this one here and all you need to do check this out all you have to do is unplug the hard drive from that usb port okay then you're going to plug this in where you had that hard drive plugged in now you've got this setup you've got your powered cord your otg adapter connected to your usb hub with your fire tv stick this seems like a lot guys but i promise you it's really not it's pretty simple then what you're going to do once you have this set up you're just going to plug this into one of the usb ports and it doesn't matter which one now you have two extras for an external mouse external keyboard if you want to put one of those upgraded gyro pad remotes onto this you could plug it right into there now you've got the most insane fire tv stick you have a hardwired for stable signal two terabyte fire tv stick now this is going to be the software one this is going to show you how to access your external drive how to move apps to it all that good stuff in today's video all right guys so i've got you on the home screen here for the fire tv stick now as you can see here i do not have an external drive attached to this at all so if you go to my fire tv go to about you're going to be able to see storage i just have the 4.54 gigabytes of 5.33 gig available again there's 4.5 available of five guys if you do your stick the way i show you in my videos you're going to have plenty of storage but if you want to add the extra storage 
I'm going to show you in this video right now how to do that. So uh, it, go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already on how to connect everything. What I have right now is I've got the OTG adapter and I've got a hub and I've got the powered adapter all connected already on this TV. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the external drive. Now this is a two terabyte drive and I'm going to connect it directly into one of the USB ports on the a hub that I've got attached. Again, it's the hub that I shared with you in our videos. So when you connect that automatically, it should prompt you right here how you want to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go device storage right here. Sorry about that pop up on the bottom right hand corner. I don't want to set up an Alexa theater. I don't know why I did that. Uh, all content on this USB drive will be erased. It, are you sure you have to say Yes, so go ahead and say yes. It will format the drive for you. Now again, this is the 4K Max. It's a little bit of a different process on the older 4Ks. I have another video on that. This is for the 4K Max. Guys, they're on sale right now. Now's the time to buy it. They'll even give you credit and on, at Amazon if you trade in your older Fire TV stick. So that's something to consider if that is something that you want to do. Now don't forget, on the previous screen you do have to do the device storage, not external storage. People make that mistake and then moving apps, accessing apps from the home screen is a little bit harder. Okay, So this is what you want to do, device storage. It will format this drive as you see right now. Just take a couple minutes and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, as you can see formatted complete, the larger the drive you have, the longer this process takes. It really only takes a couple minutes though, so be patient and go ahead and hit OK. Now if you look at storage, you've got the 4.54 gigabytes of internal, but you also have 1.97 terabytes, that's two terabytes guys, of external space. That is a lot. Now if you set it up as device storage instead of external storage, when you download those apps, it will automatically go to your external space and you will be able to access them right from your home screen. That's very important to know that it will not go on your internal space if you went ahead and did it exactly as I showed at the beginning of this video. So let me show you an example of that. Now you can move it between your internal and external really easily. So let's go ahead and install an app. So we'll go to find, we'll go to app store. We're going to go down and go to all categories. This is how you're going to find all of those awesome apps for the Fire TV stick. We'll go movies and TV because that's what I like and that's what I'm going to show you here. And we'll just pick app Plex for the fun of it. So if you click on Plex and then you go ahead and click download. This will automatically download to your external storage. So the downloading process is slightly slower when you put it on your external storage versus your internal storage as far as the initial download, but it sure is nice to be able to have this externally. And then I'll show you how to access it directly and all of that good stuff directly from your external drive. Guys, this is a lot of fun and I'm also going to show you how to move it between your external and internal if you decide to do that. Say you needed your drive on a different uh, fire stick. I, I can show you how to move it back to your internal storage on your Fire TV stick. The ability to have the extra storage will allow you to have hundreds of apps, will allow you to use apps like TV Mate or uh, IPTV Smarters to be able to use your IPTV to download and DVR content, which is awesome. And if you set it up properly, you can move this drive between sticks in your house and between your computer. So it's pretty cool to be able to take that external drive, go to another room, plug it into that Fire TV stick and now have all that content, everything that you downloaded, all the DVR stuff. Pretty cool. All right. It has already downloaded. Now check this out. If you go to your home screen <clears throat> and then you go over here to your settings and then you go to applications. This is where everything's done right here. This is the magic section right here. Manage installs. You can see didn't take up any of my internal storage. Didn't really touch the external space because it's so large you can't even see the difference. Click on manage install. Now you'll notice everything is doesn't have anything except for this one. Plex is the one I just did after I added the external storage and it has this little, looks like a little pin or something there. That means it's on your external storage. So if you click on it right here, you can now move it to your internal or move it back to your external right here within it. You can launch it, you can force stop it, you can, un, you can clear it out. You can do all of the same features, but move it between your internal and external right here. It's all done in your manage installed applications. So let me show you that you can actually launch it as well. So let's go to your home screen and then we're going to go ahead and do what I always recommend if it's an app that you use all the time, and that's moving it to the front. So you're going to go here, you're going to hit the three dash lines and you're going to move to front. By doing that guys, 
it's now going to be right here on your home screen, easy to access. Otherwise, all of your stuff's buried, especially when you start adding thousands of apps to your Fire TV stick, which you can now do. Right here, again, go all the way down and then pick the one you want, three dash lines, and you can move it. Okay, so let's go back home. As you can see, Plex is right here in the front. Now, when you click on it, it will launch and it's not on your internal Fire TV stick. It's not slowing it down. It's not taking up space. It is accessible to you directly from your external drive. There you go. Now you have Plex. And again, this is straight from the external drive. Unplug it, plug it in another Fire TV stick. You can access it as well. Really cool feature. So that's how you move apps to and from your external hard drive. And I also shared in this video how to set it up. Make sure you set it up as a device storage, extremely important. Again, if you have an older Fire TV stick, slightly different process. I have another video on, on that. This is for, and the same with the Cube or the Fire TV edition. It's a different process for all of those. This is something that they added to the 4K Max, being able to add it as internal storage accessible without any other apps or any other setup. Really cool, almost worth the upgrade if you are interested in upgrading your Fire TV stick storage. How about that? That's pretty cool, right? You can put all kinds of apps on your Fire TV stick now. You can even set it up with an app like TV Mate to be able to DVR your IPTV directly to your external drive right here, which is really cool. You can get those little thumb drives, you can get a two terabyte drive like I did in this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna know more content like this, or if you wanna get a little bit more in depth into the whole process of getting IPTV Smarters or TV Mate and setting it all up and doing all of that, join us on Patreon because that's where I do those types of videos. Again, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Bye.